in all different colors and it's good for the planet and I love this thing. This is Seca here. Welcome to the broom closet. I hope you're all having a wonderful week. This video is going to be about this green witch trying to live a more responsible life by lessening her footprint while she is here on this planet. Recently, my husband asked, why are you being so weird and into things lately? Which I found hilarious. This was in reaction to me switching out some of our products here at home for reusable or plastic free options. That's gonna be Odin digging in the litter box for like the next 15 minutes. But first let me say that I was a 90s kid. I grew up in a middle class family and we had the luxury of paper towels and detergent and all of the reusable stuff you buy at the store for your weekly grocery shopping. And a lot of people have said, California will change you. And I can detest to that. It has changed me in one of the best ways I think possible, and it's by taking better care of our planet. I wish I could have come around to this sooner. And the first time I was introduced to like a plastic free or more responsible options, uh, more reusable options was through Sorel Amore's video. She does, um, she is a travel blogger, but she occasionally will do some challenges. And I think one of her challenges was to go plastic free for a period of time. And it looked hard as hell. So I'll tell you now that that is not what this video is. This is not a plastic free plug or a zero waste PSA. And I'll tell you why. My husband and I still have plastic Tupperware, but we've had it for a long time. We reuse it, we wash it, and we try not to throw it away. We also use like a bento box for our lunches, you know, one of the boxes that you can have multiple layers and fit your sandwiches and chips and whatever you put in your lunch. We also use aluminum foil, so we switched to a grill grate when we do grill food, but for our little toaster oven, since we don't have an actual oven, we have to use some tin foil or else everything will burn. It is not a plastic free video because I know a lot of the options are glass and glass breaks and honestly we do not have enough room for the beautiful uh, glass jars you would hold your flour or your sugar in ours are plastic and lastly the reason why is because this is a shared space my husband and i he has been very flexible with changing over uh his reusable options but if you are trying this out you can't expect your significant other to go full force with you if they do that's great but uh, most likely it will take a little time so in regards to that, I knew I couldn't just jump in and get rid of all my stuff and start over super minimalist and super um, recyclable, renewable, washable options. I had to really take it slow. So these are just the things that I have switched over to. So really this is just a newbie witch's perspective and ideas for impacting our planet in a more positive way. These are just the things I do and I wanted to share with you because I'm really excited about them and if you have made changes like this, you know that people will get excited about your habits also. So what I did was I made a list of things that were outside our home that we use on the daily, things inside our home and stuff I use for my personal care. And I highlighted them in like a green, a yellow and a red zone. So the green I found really easy to switch over and everybody can do that. The yellow um, is either you need to purchase something and make the switch and then the red is something that would take a little longer to get the hang of um, or to get used to. Something that I definitely can't switch over and I know people do is stuff like deodorant. I know people have reusable toilet paper, which I don't think I'm comfortable using. I am part of Function of Beauty, so I order their products and I think that they're really good. I have been contacting the company to see if they will uh, ever consider taking back their bottles or um, reusing the bottles in any way, but Function of Beauty is conditioner and shampoo that is tailored for your And the lastly, uh, we are part of the Dollar Shave Club, so we get cheap razors and um, handles and it's a certain amount a month and so that just comes every every three months we have that and I am also contacting them to see if they will do a um, 
program at some point in the future to recycle their razors. So let's start outside of the home and something that everyone should be doing and can do is just recycle. Just recycle your plastics and your paper and your glass and your aluminum cans. Most places will have like vending machines where you can go and get money for recycling. Some things are not recyclable like the plastic bags you would get from a grocery store and like styrofoam takeout containers. So this is something to look into. So I have written down the uh, average national payout rate for aluminum. So those are your soda and beer cans is 70 to 80 cents per pound. So if you are drinking your soda or drinking your beer and you crush down that can and stick it in a box, you can get uh, quite a bit of cash. But that, um, but in some states such as California and Michigan, you can earn as much as 10 cents uh, for recycling aluminum. On this other site said that aluminum cans, you can get $1.80, clear plastic bottles is $1.28, opaque plastic bottles is 58 cents, glass bottles you can get 10 cents, and it says prices paid by California certified recyclers as of August 2018. Um, there may be new rates as of July. I am going to leave a list of companies that have their own recycling programs such as Nike and Adidas. Something else that has a really hard time being recycled are straws and I know, I know that people are tired of hearing about the straw situation, but I don't know if anybody has seen this video of the turtle with the straw stuck in its nose, but it really scarred me. And now I say no thank you to the straw situation. And if I am given a straw, um, there is, I'm gonna leave the link, there is a solution for that, an easier way, because they're so small, they tend to slip through like the recycling grates and they don't get caught. A way to do that, if you are getting takeout um, or if you are going through fast food and they give you a straw, just return it, say no thank you or you are you could put it in like a big milk jug start collecting all of your straws in a bigger container that way it can be caught and recycled another thing that goes along with recycling is to leave your feedback for any um anything you purchase online through amazon or any of the companies i recently ordered some prints through cat print but inside there were packing peanuts i was able to leave feedback on their site. They gave me a survey to do, and one of the things I suggested is maybe not using packing peanuts. Instead, uh, you could use like crumpled, crumpled uh, that hard paper. It's not cardboard paper, but it's the hard paper. There are tons of recycling programs out there. One that my friend does is through TerraCycle, and she collects uh, old makeup containers or shampoo bottles, deodorant, things that have been cleaned out. So I have been collecting things in a bag for her. Next brings me to composting and I just started doing this. I've been wanting to do composting for a long time. Like when I first moved to this home, I was like, that sounds like a really good idea. And then recently I noticed how much we throw away. We have veggie scraps that get thrown out. I hard boiled eggshells and the containers the eggs come in. So what I did was I drilled a bunch of holes in one of those Rubbermaid containers filled it with your brown material, your green material. Now we throw all of our scraps in that and we are able to use it around the house. And I listed this as um, like a yellow, stage yellow, cause you might not have the space for it. Some people complain about the smell, but if you are doing composting right, it shouldn't have a smell. I keep a little cheat sheet uh, in my kitchen. This was what it looks like. So after I chop up my veggies, I would just put those scraps in the compost, I'll wet it down a little bit with our hose, and then you turn it. You try to turn it every couple days. There are some places that do like a community compost, so if you don't have a place to put it, you're always able to Google those in your area who have that you can take your scraps. The one thing that probably started all of this was in 2016, California voters approved Proposition 67, which banned the use of single-use plastic bags in grocery stores. So if you've been to California or there are other states that do this and you forget your bags, it will cost you 10 cents per plastic bag. Lots of people do this. Uh, my mom has been doing this forever and I started doing this when I moved out here. So my husband and I have like two heavy duty ones that have the rigid sides and we have one that is um, lined for our refrigerated or cold items. They keep cold and it has a lid. So these are the ones we use, but every now and then 
we'll forget our bags also. And we used to just purchase the emergency 10 cent single use bag. But uh, as of late, I've just been putting it back in the cart, rolling it out to my car and sticking it in the trunk that unload it at home. Next is also an easy solution and that's the produce bags. We would be going to the grocery store and I felt really good about my reusable uh, totes, but I was putting my broccoli and my cucumbers and everything in plastic bags and then sticking it in my cart. Uh, it's gonna get washed anyway, so it's touching the cart. Is that about it? So what I did was uh, there are tons of options. The product that I found that I have really, I was really excited to start using these are these produce bags. It, the ones I ordered came with six. The other ones are being used right now. They're in our fridge, but they have little color coordinated tabbies. I think they're the colors of the rainbow. So we, there's a red, orange, and yellow one also. So there are these clear mesh bags for your produce and they have a drawstring and your, um, when your produce is in here, you can even wash it while it is in this produce bag. So having the produce bags with us and having our totes with us, I think is a great option. I also have a produce bag that I crocheted, but it's not big enough for everything all at once and then the cashier has to take everything out. So this way, we still use that for other things, but this way it's already separated for the cashier and it just goes back into our, our little tote. Some things inside the home. Firstly, I think it's pretty obvious is just having a reusable water bottle. This is a hydro flask and I love stickers. So I put all my stickers on there. My uh, Belladonna girl, she's on, on the store Envy site. So having a water bottle and not just getting the single cups when you go out to eat. Um, we have three or four glass cups here, but I tend to just use my water bottle every single day and I wash it out. I mean, people say that glass is the way to go and they're so cute. Like the mason jars with the lids and the reusable straws are adorable, but I am a clumsy person and I cannot be trusted with glass. They have a warranty and I'm gonna link the warranty. So if there are any manufact manufacturer defects such as leaking or chipping or breakage, they will replace it. Now that doesn't include dents and ding. Hydro Flask is durable enough that it can take it. It may not look pretty, but it is definitely a great option. The only thing about the Hydro Flask that I have trouble with is that the mouth is too big for me and I tend to spill on myself a lot, but I know that they sell lids with the straw adapter already in it. We are finally getting a washer and dryer after five years here. Five, four, five, six years here. And what I plan to do is there is an option for, instead of using the single use dryer sheets, there are wool dryer balls that you can order. And I have this um, under green. It could be yellow because of the cost, but they are reusable. They take your static out. You can put your essentials, essential oils on them for your smelly good clothes. For those of you out there who are interested in wool spinning or have the option of making your own, you can make your own. Along with this, we also ordered a clothes line and this is the one that I ordered. I have it outside now. And we don't have our washer dryer put in yet, but in the other day I had put stuff out on the line and it made me feel so good. And we were expecting rain later that day and I was like, I gotta get the wash off the line before it rains. I was really excited about hanging things on the line because your stuff just smells better when it's been outside. Another easy one inside the home is the reusable coffee strainers. Instead of buying the paper ones for your coffee, they sell mesh ones everywhere. Target, Walmart, Best Buy. Best Buy? Anywhere you can go and get home goods, you can find a mesh coffee strainer and they also sell them for the curing. However, they do sell biodegradable paper strainers, which brings me to our reusable paper towels. Some of them are missing from here because we've been using them. These are bamboo reusable towels. They're super absorbent. I will leave a link of where we got these and how many are on here. So far, we've been using them. I've been rinsing them in the sink with a little bit of our Dawn soap and then I hang them out on the line. When they've been getting really dirty, I will put them in, it says to wash them in really hot water and either line dry them or air dry them. But these are really, really cool. This was the product that Erin was like, why are you being all weird and into things lately? It's cause I changed our paper towels, the bamboo towels. This is also a fun one. We tend to buy sponges. We have one sponge for our dishes and one to wipe down our sink. And I think we even use one for cleaning in our bathroom. But I found the silicone sponges and they have a little hook on them. We hang them up by the sink. They have silicone bristles 
and they have a scrubby bit on the bottom half. We got two, we've only been using this one so far. Erin's like, what are we gonna use the other one for? Because this one feels super durable. It has, this is Tree Trunk by Tree Trunk. It has a little place for your hand to slide into. Again, these are silicone. This is not a plastic free spiel. I love using these. I seem to use less soap also when I use these little guys. So again, these are Tree Trunk. I will link these. I love them. They come in a bunch of different colors and I just got these on Amazon. Heading over to the self care segment of this little video. I wanna start off with the loofah situation or the scrubby sponges you get at the grocery store for like a dollar. I'm sorry, these are gross. These are disgusting. They will hold on to so much bacteria because of all the moisture and the heat in your shower. So my sister-in-law a few Christmases ago knitted a wash rag for me that I have been using. It's in the shower still because it ha it's wet, but um, just a knitted or crocheted wash rag, something that you can reuse and wash and keep in the shower. Another option for taking care of your skin is this little tool that I discovered through, again, Sorel Amore's video, uh, a YouTube channel, is called the Baden Mitten. And it's this mitten that has this weave of natural fibers that you, after like a 15 minute hot shower, and when your skin is still wet, you rub this all over your skin and you will see the dead skin cells flake off of your body. It is the most disgusting, satisfying thing you have ever seen. I love this guy. So this is like a once a week thing to take care of your skin. And afterward, you feel like a little baby in a damn meadow. So even when you're scrubbing with soap, um, there's still a lot of stuff left on you. So when you use the bait and mitten, um, skip the soap, maybe do the pits and the butt, but everything else can cleanse with the bait and mitten. And I just use coconut oil after, and my skin feels amazingly smooth. And the reason I have this as like the red zone is because of the price. I can't remember off the top of my head what it was, but I'm sure in the description I will list what the price was for this. But again, reusable, had it for years, love it. This brings me to like the soap process or if you are interested I've tried to make my own bar soap and I love it I love making bar soap but I just don't have the room or the time to continue making it there will be a link in the description of the ones I've made in the past I have them on my blog as well as the recipes um, so if you are into soap making rather than buying bottles and having to recycle them we have these two glass containers this one is the leftover soap in the bottle that I was using so I'm going to use this up there are tons of recipes on Pinterest to make your own liquid soap. So I'm gonna keep using this bottle in the shower and make my own liquid soap and I can't wait. I buy the big bottle of Dawn dish soap and I keep it in this one by the sink. I think these are really cute. This is probably the only glass that I have besides the container that holds my coconut oil. These are also a new transition. We buy regular toothbrushes we change them every three months, but we started um, getting these Hello Boo bamboo toothbrushes. They're super cute. They come in a bunch of different colors and they are more uh, cost effective than the regular toothbrushes. We would buy two at a time. They came in a pack um, and per sense, these are a lot cheaper. They're biodegradable. There's um, instructions on how to take care of them. I know you have to remove the bristles. So this is another great option for your teeth. Now this little section is for the ladies. Um, this will have to do with makeup and menstrual cycles. Firstly, I was really excited to do this. I was a fan of the makeup wipes because we go camping and it just feels good to get the smoke and the dust and your makeup off your face and cleanse yourself. Um, however, uh, you throw them away when you're done. So what I found was a lot of um, Pinterest instructions on how to make reusable makeup rounds. And most of them I found are sewing instructions. People also knit or crochet them. So these are crocheted and they are my two favorite colors, gray and teal. The ones that I saw online are super adorable. They are white on the inside and then each one has like a a Roy G. Biv rainbow, different rainbow color, per, you know, for each day. However, I did not make mine white as cute as that is because I'm taking off my dark makeup. They're gonna get ruined. So these were definitely fun to try. I made about five of them, but I reuse 
Um, I'll take my makeup off with one side and then on the other side I'll put some witch hazel and just use that as my toner. So these will go in the laundry also after I've used them a couple times. They'll go in one of those lingerie bags uh, along with my reusable pads and the bamboo towels and I'll wash them all at once. Which brings me to the makeup remover. Like I said, I love those towelettes because you could just take it off easy peasy no problem. Um, I started making my own makeup remover. I used to use just coconut oil but ours got really hard and it wasn't warm enough for it to be soft so it was kind of hard to get it out of a jar but what i found was this really sweet recipe for uh, all natural makeup remover and it's coconut oil a little bit of witch hazel water and your choice of essential oil and i chose to use lemon verbena because i love oh, i love lemon verbena and what i'll do is i'll shake up the little bottle that it's in again it's a plastic reusable bottle the ones you would get for like the airline it's that kind of small ounce and lastly, if you've been to my channel before, you know I did a whole video about how much I love the reusable pads and menstrual cups. So I won't get too much into this, but again, these I will put, I will use and I'll put in the laundry with the rest of my stuff. And the menstrual cups, I boil after I use them. Everybody, I hope you like this video about reusable things that come in all different colors and it's good for the planet and I love this. Thing.